Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Um, today, I have a very special guest, and I am here with my mom, Christy Swindell. So, mom, if you want to just do a quick little intro, just talk a little bit about um, your background with teaching. She's taught a variety of ages, and that is primarily what we're going to be talking about today. Also about your degree, your college, your experience, current employment, all that good stuff. Just kind of go into a little bit of a rundown for us. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, in college, I started out as a business major. Big mistake for me. Um, and I ended up uh, choosing a the best possible major for me, which was education. And I had minors in English and political science along with that, uh, both subjects that um, are endlessly interesting to me as well. So that was a really great fit. And uh, right out of college, I got a job teaching seventh and eighth grade English um, at a middle school in my hometown and uh, did that actually for about 11 years until I had you and your brother. <laughs> and uh, I loved every minute of it. Teaching middle school was um, amazing. I won't go into that right now because I know that's coming up later. Um, but yeah. And then now uh, after I had you and Jack, I got out of teaching for the most part for about five years until you guys both went into elementary school. And then I began teaching at the preschool where you guys both attended. And I've been doing that ever since. This is, I think, going to be my 16th or yikes, maybe That's my 17th crazy year. It's been that long. Yeah, time flies. So fun. Okay, so talk a little bit about why you decided to go into education. You talked about how you started out business. Yes. So obviously you did not like business. No. So talk a little bit about what, obviously we know why you changed, but why specifically education? Well, I'd always, um, I, I've always just loved kids and uh, obviously education. That kind of goes right along with that hand in hand. Mm -hmm. um, but I specifically wanted to do secondary education because um, I am an Enneagram 5, which is an investigator. So mm -hmm. I love to learn new things. I'm a lifelong learner. Love it. And um, I thought, you know, I can combine those two things. I love kids. I love learning. Hopefully I can get kids to love learning. And so it just kind of seemed like a, a great fit. Love. Okay, so talk about, this is very broad, but your favorite part of teaching. What is it? I can't pick just one thing. Um, again, I love kids uh, and particularly teaching middle school and preschool. Uh, those ages have just been great fits for me because I am easily bored and middle schoolers and preschoolers are never, ever boring. So I have a job every day that I never know what's going to happen and, and it and it's it makes it fun and interesting. And so that's one part of it. Um, then too, like I said, I'm a lifelong learner. I love to learn. And so it's always um, gratifying and encouraging and inspiring when I see those little um, little eyes light up uh, for my, with my preschoolers just when they're excited about learning too. And I always felt that way with middle schoolers as well. That's so fun. Okay, so talk about kind of the opposite of that question. What is the hardest part about teaching and education? Hardest, I, you know, I, I, I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> for sure, when I taught middle school, I was an English teacher. So when I had about 130 students and I was grading 130 essays every couple of weeks, that was definitely hard yeah. and a bit of a slog. Uh, but now with preschool, you know, I don't bring my work home with me. Mm -hmm. It's all there. So, I mean, probably just the hardest part is at the beginning of the year, just trying to get everybody into our routine. Yeah. And then kind of once we have that established at the beginning, it requires a lot of intensive and consistent time and effort. But honestly, once we have that established in those first couple of weeks, uh, that's definitely the hardest part of my year. Yeah, just because they're all coming from like different levels. Hurting different cats, backgrounds. hurting cats. <laughs> it's just, yeah, nine, nine, you know, different little individuals that are, you know, wanting to go their own way. And that's great to a point. But when I need you to line up, I need you to line up. So just figuring out how we're going to do that peacefully and happily. Yeah, like different, like I guess, parenting styles and learning styles. For and sure. And a variety of things. For sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so talk a little bit about the similarities between, between teaching middle school 
and preschool. And then obviously there's a lot of differences. So kind of talk through some of those. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Similarities. Well, like I said, um, both two, you know, preschoolers, you know, three and four year olds and middle schoolers, um, you know, 12, 13, 14 year olds, uh, they are just both in phases of life where um, every day is a new day and you never know what you're going to get. And like I said, for me, that makes it never boring, always interesting. And uh, that's definitely a similarity for whatever reason. I know there's been research done mm -hmm. that there are a lot of similarities between two, three and four year olds and 12, 13, and 14 year olds. So <laughs> I, I, I knew that, like I knew that I knew that because I've taught those ages, but when I saw the research, I was like, Everything aha, now. <laughs> yes. Um, so simil uh, other similarities, um, I don't know, really kids are kids pretty much at all ages, but what was the other thing I was supposed to tell you about? Differences. Differences. Well, I mean, obviously when you're teaching middle schoolers, it's a lot like I was talking about the hardest part of my job now is the beginning of the year when you're dealing with seventh and eighth graders. They obviously know the drill. Yeah. You know, there's not that they do want to see, you know, if you're going to be consistent, they do want to see how you manage your classroom. But that is just such a different dynamic. You're focusing more in middle school on depth of learning. Yeah. In preschool, we're working on basic concepts, learning how to learn character. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How, how to be, you know, how to treat people well, mm -hmm. you know, treat people the way you want to be treated, all of that type stuff. So, so that aspect, what I'm teaching is extremely different Yeah, in a that way happens. and in a way not, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Last question. If you could give advice to one person who is going into education, either a degree, like just starting out mm -hmm. or starting their first job in education, mm -hmm. what would that piece of advice be? Well, I would say, first of all, don't do it if you don't love it, mm -hmm. because we need, we need good teachers who love kids. Um, I feel like that's so true too, because I feel like most people are like, oh, I had this horrible teacher that one time. Right. Even if they've had like 20 awesome, amazing It sticks out. Teachers. Yeah. Right. And then if you're just looking to have, well, I like my summers off. Okay. That's not a reason to go <laughs> into teaching. Like, please don't do that. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's see. Um, what would be my piece it's of advice? Question. <laughs> it really is. I just get one. Um, what would be my piece of advice? Um, be consistent, mm -hmm. be consistent. That's probably in everything you do, be consistent Yeah. so that the kids know where they stand. It'll make everyone's life a lot easier. Yeah. So that's probably and education -wise. in every aspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And start off that way from day one because you can't Go back. be slack <laughs> and then try to tighten things up. That doesn't work. Yeah. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for being on my podcast. This was so fun. So fun. So I've been fun. waiting to have you on, so I'm glad we finally got to set it up and Same. get it done. So um, thank you guys so much for listening, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all. <laughs>